what am I thinking about? What would I like to speak of today? I'm going to speak on age and care because I don't think many understand it anymore don't treat someone different because they're old and don't treat someone different because they're young they were human to start off with they got a bit older still human eventually got very old and they're still human people patronise and condescend and talk down to an old person as if they were a child and they expect children to be adults and the middle aged look worried age is just a number and elders don't need to be respected you earn respect you don't get it when you reach 50 just like that children should be respected everyone should be respected but not ignored of their imperfections I know all mine but many people don't know theirs care, what is care? care is accepting how someone is and allowing them to be themselves care is not always tenderness it's tenderness it's also teaching and accepting if the lesson isn't learned the first time care is absolutely never giving fear care is making sure someone is fed care most importantly is listening to somebody everything they say and you may not agree with everything someone says but you listen and you accept that in this brain or their brain that is the reality and it's perfectly fine and what's in the mind of the person listening it's just an echo it's not the instrument of the person's thought the person listening isn't there to advise you how to think perceiving that you cannot because they cannot understand you or even accept you have a voice at all sometimes care is is giving time to somebody care doesn't have to be next to a person but um, if care is needed it should be no matter how how a person is limited in time
no one's here to live for themselves, but most do. Care is sometimes a pat on the back. Sometimes it's wiping a tear away. Sometimes care is forgiving a person and not hating them. Sometimes care is believing a person even though it's unbelievable. Don't falsify someone's thought because you have not assessed a situation completely and uh, cannot synchronize with their thought at all because there is none in the person's mind observing care is being lenient it's not being strict but being having limits everything should have limits except thought thought should be limitless but in modern society it's so limited care is teaching if the person needs teaching, and everyone does every day, even me, I learn every day. But um, many stopped a long time ago. I'll use a little metaphor. Because I like metaphors. People can't understand those either. The old woman sat like a chagrin crow, afraid of what lay in front of her on the ground. It had been a stormy night, and all the leaves had came off the trees and lay on the floor hiding the ground that's just a metaphor can anyone understand that metaphor an old woman sits on the sofa suddenly caught in a storm and her life that she knew is all over the floor because there's this wind that's blown into her life there's no forecast of it she was fine and happy and then suddenly out of nowhere there came hate One of the worst things about people who say they care is that sometimes they don't care at all. Some people worry about people or say they worry about people but actually they don't at all. I'm sure someone listening might understand that. Intelligence is knowing that if you call out into the night nothing usually answers. Intelligence is also knowing that if you look up to the sun you'll go blind. There is such a lack of aptitude and care, even in 
in establishments of care. So for it to be a low aptitude in society really is commonsensical thinking. It doesn't make it right though. It doesn't make it acceptable. But people don't like change because change is bad for most. I'm very good at change. I can move through a storm. Many cannot. Old ladies can't who aren't being treated very well. And um, guilty people can't move through storms very easy. A bird caught in a storm flaps its wings just to keep in the air. But if the wind's really bad it will fall out of the sky even though it's got wings and it's a bird. Love. What is love? Love is finding you accept everything about a person. Because you have no other choice in your heart. Love is always forgiving. And love is warm and tender. Love is kind. And love is as perpetual and as permanent as the stars. Everything comes to an end, but everything has a lifespan. Love is a rare thing, real love. It is easy to say, I love, I love, I love. It is much harder to do, to do, to do. People love for themselves, not for the other person. They want the other person so much that they will love the idea for themselves. When really a person should just love them and not think about themselves. There is a lot of misunderstanding. I'll use a metaphor. The world on fast forward sees the thinker is a madman. <laughs> 